notice that's making parents' skin crawl. A school district is alerting families after bed bugs were discovered in a classroom. But as WBZ's Ken McLeod explains from Revere, this is a problem they say that can be controlled. Just the mention of bed bugs is often enough to make folks recoil in disgust, and nobody knows that better than entomologist Rich Pollock. Bed bugs don't transmit anything uh, except perhaps hysteria. So reaction was predictable when Revere schools cautioned parents about a handful of cases over the last two weeks where either bed bugs or their bites had been confirmed on students. Some at the Innovation School, which is grades K through 5, and some here at the high school where Daniela is a junior. I was like, I didn't even know, like, I didn't even know that was possible, like, how bed bugs can come into the school. So the superintendent is asking parents to check their children's clothing, book bags, and backpacks, suspecting the bed bugs hitchhike to school. The classrooms affected and the ones around them have already been treated by a professional pest control company at the recommendation of the Revere Board of Health. And experts are urging parents who find bed bugs at home to do the same. Rich Pollock says this is not something for do-it-yourselfers. I think it's going to fail much more often than it's going to succeed. It's true that bed bugs want to drink your blood, but their bites do not spread disease and might not even itch. I guess I'm, I'm worried if that's going to get transported to me. They can't jump, however. They can only crawl, so they can only move long distances by clinging to fabric and rarely come out when it's light. What's the big deal? If a bed bug gets into a school, it's probably not going to survive. And if it does, it's not likely to uh, become a big problem. The bigger problem, says Pollock, is the misconception that bed bugs only pick on unclean people. Totally false. He says Revere schools seem to be doing all the right things and has good news for the masses. Most people will never see a bed bug in their life. In Revere, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Ooh,